everyone and welcome to a brand new speed build. Today I have a countryside veterinarian, um, which means it's a vet clinic if you didn't get that from the veterinarian part. I almost called it a countryside vet clinic, but then I decided to change it to countryside veterinarian just because for me at least I think it sounds better. Um, and you know, I'm all about naming things that sound better. Um, that was a joke. By the way, if you did not get that, it was a joke. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> that means that this is a community lot. So I did mention in my, I did mention, what? <laughs> I did mention in my last video, um, although it was towards the end, so I don't know how many heard it, um, but <laughs> I did mention in that video that I really, really want to start focusing more on my save file. Like that's my New Year's res the resolution. I never have New Year's resolutions because Basically, I have always th thought they're very stupid, and I still kind of do, because why set a resolution when you basically know to, like, not 100%, but, like, at least for me, I'm, like, 90% sure that I will not live up to those resolutions. Like, <laughs> I have tried several years, it's just, I just disappoint myself, so i rather not do that to my mental health, um, you know, because... If I do, if I set, like, standards for myself, <laughs> it does not go great for me, um... <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I decided to, um, I, like most years I've decided not to make New Year's resolutions, but this year I, well, I mean, it's not 2022 yet, but maybe it is when you're seeing this. I don't know. But um, th this year, I'm going to say that anyways, this year I really, really want to just basically, most of my builds are going to be for the safe file. Not all of them, <laughs> because um, that would not be great for me because that means that I will basically post no like suburban homes, which is what I love to do most. Actually, I love making these types of homes as well. But like suburban homes is my go-to if I'm like in a building slump. That's not what it's called. Builder's block. It's what it's called. It's called a reading slump and not a, <laughs> a building slump. I'm sorry. I've been watching a lot of booktube lately and I've been reading a lot. That's why. Um, <laughs> sorry. But anyways, um, if I'm, like, in a builder's block, I always go back to making, like, suburban homes because they are the best ones to make, at least in my opinion. Um, so, obviously, because I want to do more for my save file, and, I mean, it is for next year, but, um, like, since I got on break, I've decided to basically work only on builds for the save file, and this is obviously one of them. Um, so, I don't know, I really like this house. I think it's based on a picture I saw on Pinterest, but I changed it completely. Like, it does not look like that, so I won't even put it up on the screen, because there's no use for that. Um, because I do completely, like, change it. Um, I don't know, I, I really like this house. Um, so like I said before, it is a vet clinic, um, and I'm pretty sure it's functional. Um, from what, how I playtested it, it worked. Um, I'm not so sure because it is kind of hard to playtest community lots, at least for me. Um, but it should work. Everything should work. Uh, but there is also upstairs, there's a little, like, not, it's not a studio. Um, I was gonna say a studio apartment. It's not. But it's a, a little bit, like, of an apartment. I was imagining that the person who's running the clinic lives up there. Um, obviously that is not possible in The Sims, which is very sad. Like, I wish we could um live and run a community lot like on the same lot if that makes sense and i know that is something that a lot of people have talked about and it's just i really w would love that um because it would just make some things like so more realistic and you could build things like this and actually make it functional um but i didn't know like i didn't think that it was would be like a good thing to put like are they called like examining rooms i don't think so but i don't think it's like a good thing to put them um like upstairs so i decided to just i don't know make it into a living space um so if you want to use this more of a house um i mean you could but uh, i mean it is a vet clinic and that's what i'm gonna put it as my in, as in my save file um and yeah i don't know i really i really really like this i really like how it turned out um i i don't know i don't know <laughs> what to say it's almost midnight, if you couldn't tell, um, and I am very tired. I'm not tired. I'm not even tired at all. Um, I have talked about this before, but, like, my sleeping schedule is non-existing, especially, like, the last few weeks. Um, it's been horrible, um, and it's just because, like, I've been stress dreaming, and, like, ha like my sleep has not been great, and then I'm, like, not falling asleep and going up at, like, good times, especially, especially, I'm sorry, especially now that I'm on break. Um, anyways, you don't need to hear about that, but... <laughs> I am not tired, um, because I woke up really late and I fell asleep very late, so, like, I, I don't know, I got to sleep, um, for once, I actually slept, but, um, 
yeah, I'm not tired. It's just, it's late. And um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I have to be up really early tomorrow. Well, I mean, <laughs> I say really early. I have to like wake up at like 8.30, which is not early at all. Usually when I have school, I wake up around 6. In comparison to that, 8.30 is not early. Uh, but I have a dentist appointment. Um, I don't know why they set that tomorrow. I mean, I do know because I have to cancel. I had to, I'm sorry. Um, I had to cancel it twice. Oh God, my voice. <laughs> I am so sorry, uh, but I had to cancel it twice because um, the first time, um, it just, it didn't fit with my schedule. Like, I was in school and it was, like, a lesson that I could not miss, um, so, like, it would not work. Um, and then, so I, like, I changed it and then the date I changed it to, I was sick, so I had to change it again and then now they put it tomorrow. Um, and that's not great. It's, it's not great. <laughs> I am so sorry. I just had to take a little bit of a break because um i just sneezed a lot um so i'm so sorry i don't even know what i was talking about i think i was talking about my dentist appointment i don't know it's been like a minute or two and i just don't know what i was talking about um but yeah anyways i think maybe i should talk about this build a little bit i don't know um i decided to go with a very like cute and light color scheme um and like de decorations i guess um and like is this realistic like would a vet clinic look like this no, not at all. But we are not striving for realism here. We are striving for coziness and cuteness and just, you know, all of that. Um, having it as good as possible, I guess. That's what we're striving towards. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, the interior for this is very just like white um, and... I don't know, I, again, like, the examining rooms, they are not realistic. Um, granted, it's been a very long time since I've been at a veterinarian slash vet clinic. Um, I think the last time I was at one was probably in 2017, 2018, maybe, I think. Yeah, 2018, I think. Mm, I believe. <laughs> yes, 2018. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't know. Um, it's been a very long time, um, because, like, one's a uh, real once what <laughs> sorry um i told you this is not gonna be great it's gonna be a little bit chaotic i'm so sorry uh but first of all um like i haven't had to like my my dogs and cats and stuff like that they have been obviously to the vet clinic but um or to the veterinarian like we do take care of them i promise you um but it just i haven't been able to like go with them uh go with my mom and my dad and or my yeah, I mean, my mom and my dad, or my brother, because one of the dogs is his, um, but, like, I haven't been able to go with them because of corona, and, um, then also, like, I don't know, I don't really see the point of me going with them, um, the last time I was at a vet clinic was because we had to sadly put down our, um, like, my childhood dog, like, our pet, um, which was really sad, and now I feel like I'm getting, getting into sad things, which is not what I wanted to do with this voiceover, I am so sorry, um, but, you know, that was the last time I was out of the clinic, so it's been a very long time, and at that point, I was not really, um, looking at how it looked, because, you know, I was a little busy, um, crying, you know, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, uh, that's not what I want to talk about, you know, laughing away the pain here, um, but yeah, so, you know, it's been a while since I've been in one, and, um, I don't know, I tried my best, um, I, in my save file, um, there are going to be two med clinics, I think, two or three, um, obviously this one, um, <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I really wanted to have one in Bridgeton Bay because, you know, it is the the world that came with cats and dogs. So it kind of just made sense. Uh, but then there's also going to be one in Newcrest, which I've built, but I don't like it. Um, I built it like two or three years ago. No, like two years ago. I think around two years ago. I'm not really sure. Um, it, is, it is up on my gallery if you want to look at it. Uh, it was not three years ago. It's more like two years or like uh, one and a half years, like some somewhere around that. But um, I I don't know. I really don't like that one just because it doesn't look that good. <laughs> like the the building is just very like long and weird. Um, I don't know. I I might like rebuild it. I haven't decided yet. Um, I might rebuild it though. We'll see. Um, it was just like that was when I really like started doing community lots, and um, they looked awful. Um, I mean they don't look amazing now. <laughs> I mean, I see so many, like, amazing community lots. Um, like, if you didn't know, one of my favorite Sims people, um, especially, like, builders, is Plummy Sims, and she made a, um, 
I don't know what it was called exactly, but it was like an arcade um, and like apartment building thing uh, in Willow Creek. And I saw that and it just blew my mind. I mean, everything she does, it blows my mind. But like, she's amazing. If you haven't checked her out, you totally should. Um, I will link her down below. Like, oh my God, it's amazing. And she's also like super, super nice. I've had a few interactions with her and like, she's super nice. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure she watches my video videos, which is, thank you for watching them. Um, but it's kind of like also weird because um, for me, like just imagining people like watching my videos, is kind of weird. Like, obviously I know people do it. Um, I mean, you're doing it now, but it's just kind of weird. It's like, it's weird when I find, found that, found, what, what am I even talking about? I don't know. Um, but it, it was like kind of weird when I found out that like, I know my mom, like, when I started, she watched my videos. I don't think she does it anymore, but she used to. And, like, it was weird when she would, like, comment on things that I said in the videos or, you know, stuff like that. And that was just kind of weird. And then I found out that my cousin's best friend watches my videos. And she might watch this. And if so, hi. Um, that was very weird um, to find out. Because, like, what do you do? Like, what do you do? And I think I tweeted about this when I found out that. But, like... What do you do when someone you know, well, I don't really know her, but you know, when someone you have interactions with, like in real life, finds out about your channel or like knows it about it? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, the only people that I have told about my channel is obviously like my family. So, you know, um, and then, well, actually, I didn't tell my brother and my dad. My mom did. So thanks, mom. Um... <laughs> Like, it was fine. Um, actually, my brother has been really helpful. I will talk about that in a second. But, like, um, that was kind of weird. I didn't, like, I wasn't planning on telling them. Um, but it was probably for the best of my mom. I, I think my mom thought that I had told them. Um, I don't know. Maybe I did tell my brother. But I know I didn't tell my dad. My my mom did that for me. Um, but, you know, it was probably good. Like, she thought I had told them. That's why. Um, so she, like, mentioned it. And they were like, what? Um, and then... Like, I to told my best friend. And those are the only people that I've told. Um, so, that's weird. Obviously, again, like, with my family, I'm counting my cousin and stuff like that because they're, you know, family. But um, it's it's weird when you find out people in real life knows about it. And, like, I, I don't know. It's weird. Um, how did I come into this? I don't know. Right. I was talking about Plummy Sims. Oh, community lots. That's why. <laughs> but, yeah, you should definitely check out Plummy Sims. Um, all of her builds are, like, amazing. Like, I don't know how she does it. it they're just amazing all of them. I'm sorry, I'm kind of whispering now, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> they're just amazing, you should definitely check her out. But um, I mean, now my community lots are not as good as hers, for instance. Um, I'm sorry, for instance. Um, and there's a lot more people out there just make amazing community lots. And I'm just trying my best over here. You know, I'm just trying my best. Um, but I do really think that I've kind of evolved <laughs> from the last vet clinic I built. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, this voiceover is not good. Um, I don't have any other time to record this, because I mean, I could record it tomorrow. Um, by the way, for me, it's currently Monday, and this is going up Wednesday, and I have no idea when you're watching this. You might watch this in, like, two years, and uh, nothing I'm saying is relevant. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, I told you. This is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, also, if the audio is a little bit different, I don't know if it is, um, I'm not sure if it is, um, it's because I'm using another software to, like, re it's, it's called software, I don't know, uh, to record, um, with, um, I did, <laughs> I mentioned this in so many videos, and also on Twitter and Instagram, but, um, um, I have been talking about getting a new mic. I am not getting a new mic because, again, I told you my brother has been helpful and this is where he comes in. My brother's amazing. I love him very much. Um, and he, I am not that tech savvy, okay? I, <laughs> I mean, I'm better than, like, someone's grandma, obviously, you know? I know what to do. Um, and, like, I'm not completely helpless. It's just, I am not the best, um, there's probably, like, a, especially, like, a lot of people, like, like, games and stuff like that, especially, like, with this type of stuff, knows about things. They knows about, like, computer specs and, you know, stuff like that. And, like, I can figure it out. I just, eh, you know, I just, eh. Um, <laughs> that was the best explanation I have for it. Um, but my brother is very, very good with computers. Um, uh, my dad is as well, but, you know, it feels kind of weird going to my dad with this type of stuff. Plus, my brother, um, has before streamed and made YouTube videos. I... 
well i know he made youtube videos i'm pretty sure he streamed as well but i don't know if he still does it he might i don't know he didn't tell us we just found out um <laughs> He's kind of that weird that way. He also knows about the channel, and I think he has watched some of my videos, and he might watch this one just to check how the audio is, because <laughs> that's that's him. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this, love you. Um, but you know, um, so I talked about like I was asking him about opinions about mics and stuff like that because he's really into mics and like audio. He has so many headphones, and like I don't understand why you need. I'm not even joking, like, 10 pairs of different headphones, and it's not like, oh, like, because I also have, like, 10 pairs of different headphones, but all of them are, like, ones that I've accumulated over the years that are, like, you know, with, like, what they're called, um, not strings, not threads, you know, those do connect, like, to the phone that are, like, budget, and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, I've kind of collected them over the years, uh, but he has, like, high-end, like, 10 different, like, high-end uh, headphones and the, they're like different things and like I understand that they're obviously they're different but like I don't know he's really into that type of stuff so I was asking him about mics because he's also really into mics um I don't know why but he is um but I was asking him like his opinion I've said that like three times I'm sorry um and he like we were looking at like things and I was thinking of getting a blue yeti because I know that it's a very like good mic and stuff like that but the thing is I have a really good mic it's just um I don't have the right things for it, if that makes sense. So I talked about with him and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, but you know, you can do this and this and this. So he helped me out with some things. Um, for First of all, I'm recording with a different software thing. Um, it's not crisp. Like I mentioned before, I don't want to use that. But like, I, it's something else. Um, and I don't know... I don't know if it's different at all. I don't think so, but maybe it is. I think the volume might be different. So let me know if it sounds okay. Um, but then I also ordered, because I don't right now have, you know, those like arm things where you can have your mics attached to, you know, I don't have that. Uh, my mic is just like standing on my table and that's what I don't want, especially if I'm going to stream. Um, so it helped me order that and like some other things. Um, sorry if, if you heard that. I accidentally hit the my pop filter, which also I'm getting a new pop filter because this one sucks. Um, but the things I ordered might come this week or next week, which means I can start streaming really, really soon. And uh, I don't know if you could tell from my voice, uh, but I am super excited about this. Like super excited. Plus I can start my Let's Play and I'm like, just like, mm, I am so happy. Um, I don't know how consistent I will be with either of them. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna try my best. Streaming, I think, um, I know I'm gonna probably stream on, like, Saturdays and maybe some other day. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm also, like, I don't, won't have a schedule because I don't know which times are gonna work. Um, but I'm thinking it will probably be around, like, 8 to however long I want to stream. Um, which, that's CET, I think. You know, you know, like, European Standard Time. Um, yeah, CET, I think. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, because I know CEST is European summertime. So it's just CET, I think, European time. Anyway, um, the central European time. There we go. Um, because I'm in Sweden, if you didn't know. Um, so I think probably around like 8 to maybe, I don't know. If I stream an hour, obviously it'll be to 9. If I stream longer, it'll be however longer. Um, because then like I won't disturb my family too much. Uh, because, like, I could do it at night, um, because I'm a light person, but I don't want to disturb my family, like, too much, um, so we'll see, I don't know, we'll see, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I feel like I've talked a lot about different things today, and not that much about the build, it's just because I don't have much to say, um, one thing I really, really, really liked about the apartment upstairs is that I got to use the, um, kind of door thing, door archway thing that came with the industrial loft kit. Um, I know kits are controversial um, and that I haven't really talked about it that much. It's just, just because I don't really have that much of opinions. Um, I was watching a video by Wallflower Sims, I think, um, Jacqueline. Um, I will link her down below as well. She's amazing, also an amazing builder, but I was watching a video by her today, actually, uh, where she was talking about like kits and stuff like that, and she said phrased it in a very good way and I will do, do it very quick like briefly but basically she said that um and I've never thought about it but that this is just so true like if you are making a builds to for other people like for me like I'm making youtube videos by it I'm uploading to the gallery with like the intention of people downloading it right um and I'm not like making them for myself um then I think like kits are pretty good 
um, especially like the Blooming Rooms kit and stuff like that. I think they're great. Um, are they worth the money? Depends, obviously, for yourself. For me, they're worth it. Um, some of them, not all of them, but, um, but if you are making builds for like yourself and you're not like doing them with the intention of um, distributing them, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> does that make sense? I don't know. Um, then you could just download CC. And if you really like, you can spend those like, what is a five US dollars? Um, I don't know. It's like 50 Swedish crowns, I'm pretty sure. Um, so like five US dollars, somewhere around that. Um, if they can spend that money on like a CC creators Patreon or something like that to support that because that's maybe better for you to support. Um, so if you're like making builds like me, the kits are fine. If you're making builds for yourself, use just CC. Like it, obviously if you're a console player, that does not make sense. Like you can't, but otherwise I think using CC is probably the best way to go. That's um, what she said. And I definitely think that was a great way to phrase it. So I will not take credit for that like idea or whatever. Um, go and check her out. I will link her down below. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm linking, I'm talking about other people today and I love that. I love getting other people out there. But anyways, um, we are pretty close to the end of the build. I really am happy that I changed the roof here in the end because um, it would not have looked good otherwise, at least in my opinion. I really like how that how it looked after I changed it um and yeah I don't know I don't have much to say about this build I am so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry about this voiceover um but yeah anyways that's basically it for this video and I really hope you liked it and don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one bye <laughs>